Many English teachers need to supervise fourth year students who write their graduation thesis. However, a number of criticisms are often levelled at Japanese writing. These include the observations that the writing tends to be overly subjective, it is characterised by unsupported opinions, and evidence of critical thinking is often lacking. Explanations are put forward for this state of affairs, ranging from elusive cultural reasons to precise complaints about the lack of direct teaching of writing models. Quite possibly, all of the above reasons have some basis in truth. However, another factor needs to be considered seriously. Students' epistemic cognition, that is, their attitudes and beliefs about knowledge and how knowledge is created, turns out to be significantly related to their writing output. If, for example, students do not differentiate between an opinion and a truth claim, believing that everyone has the right to their own opinion and that all opinions are of equal value, they often do not have more developed ways of evaluating between competing truth claims. Indeed, quite naive beliefs are found instead of hoped for sophistication. Students may trust a name or a publisher and believe that what that name says must be true. In such cases, students' beliefs inhibit the development of their higher order cognition. The trust they feel about the name or the notion of the academic publisher gatekeeper, only allowing true information through, is blocking students from engaging with deeper issues in academic argumentation, with the text, with the reasons that the arguments came around, the questions that were in the author's minds, the tensions that were resolved or partially resolved in the creation of the eventual truth claim. The field of epistemic cognition is now in its sixth decade, but it's only recently that educators have turned to thinking about how best to promote students' thinking in the university classroom. The correlations between the students' beliefs about knowledge and their academic output are well established, but it's still an open question about how such beliefs are effectively developed. Key ideas include the need to create educational environments in which doubt is encouraged and purposefully explored. This stands in direct contrast with much education where information is transmitted to learners as a final product made by distant researchers and is unquestionable. The argument runs like this. If students are exposed only to final products, it's unlikely that they'll see how knowledge is developed. They will remain passive receivers of information and attempts to introduce them to more constructive methods of knowing will fly over their heads or be dismissed. And when the time comes for those students to write their own thesis, their own belief structure is likely to block their progress. Although there has been a lot of work into student epistemic cognition worldwide, little is known about the Japanese university situation. This presentation reports on an in-depth investigation into Japanese students' epistemic cognition, their beliefs, attitudes and knowledge about their own knowledge and how knowledge is created. The results will likely be of interest to graduation thesis supervisors. I will address many of the crucial stumbling blocks faced by students and I will present a number of pedagogic strategies to help both supervisors and student writers overcome these blocks. I will also discuss a likely upper limit to what can be expected in terms of epistemic cognition and what this means for supervisors and students alike.